What's up guys? Good afternoon. Um, so to answer a question that I get often, uh, a lot of people tell me, hey, I don't want no problems. And I'm like, well, nobody wants problems, first off. But if you do have a problem, you just fix the problem. But um, anyways, what I'm getting at around the about way is no matter how much money you spend, you can have a problem. One time, guy spends like 10 or 12 grand and he had a problem with an amplifier and he tells me, I shouldn't have no problems, I spent 10 or 12 grand. I'm like, you can have a problem no matter what you spend. So my analogy here is, once you hear the analogy, it's gonna be, there's gonna be no comment after that. But the analogy is, because what we're dealing with is high performance audio, right? It's like high performance stuff. You're spending a lot of money, you're getting a lot of power, high quality stuff. Um, no, no matter what you spend like on amps and product, it still gets installed the same way. Like. That's how we are at least. No matter what you spend in the installation part, there is no real real change. Unless there's custom fabrication, but that's totally has nothing to do with equipment working and not working. Uh, but if you build a race car, a high performance race car, go to the track, it's kind of expected for something to break. Why? Because it's high performance stuff. And when it breaks, you know, hey, it broke. Okay, let me fix it and move on. Why is it different with audio? There's really no, like, you're running an engine to its maximum, right? You're running your stereo as hard as you can because we know you got the volume pegged out. We already know it happens. So if something breaks, it can break. You're running it hard. I blow it. I haven't, but if I blow a speaker in this truck, I'm just gonna swap it out. I know I'm running a ton of power. I know this thing's loud. I know in my head, I know something could happen. The tweeters up in the dash we're getting 150 watts continuous to one tweeter We've got an RMS of 75 we're running twice the power to it it's loud it's at it's on point it's an extremely loud tweeter because we're running a lot of power higher performance out of it by running a lot of power so my point is you build a race car, you know stuff's gonna break. You spend a lot of money on that race car to go, to go fast. You spend a lot of money on your stereo running high performance stuff, a lot of power, a, a lot of nicer equipment. Stuff can break no matter what you spend. It's an electronic component at the end of the day and something can break. That's my point. You can have a, a, a subwoofer that costs you two, two grand. It might even be more susceptible to breaking. It actually is. Compared to a stock sub that has 50 watts, that speaker is gonna last a long time. It's not high performance. It's, it's not a lot of power. So, hopefully this helps people try to understand it in a different way. Stuff can break. You can go buy a TV right now, bring it home, hang it on your wall, and tomorrow it can be not working. And that's the truth. It happened to me once. Like four days later, it stopped working. Somebody would say, but it's brand new. It should work. 
maybe it is brand new. Maybe it should work, but it's not. So let's fix it. It's not the end of the world when a problem happens. It's really not. Hopefully this helps, guys. Peace.